Hello and welcome to Genius Academy. Today we will be converting the request for quotation for estimates. So in most cases, when we are building our estimate, we've got a list of parts and operations that we are going to be doing in order for us to find what our total cost is. From there, we would like to send an RFQ to a variety of vendors to get the best possible price. So in order to do so, we've taken an example here for what a product is called CM-100, which is a calving machine. And as you can see, we do have a bill of manufacturing with operations identified as uh, resources and other parts and sub-assemblies identified by eight dollar signs and little hammers. So little hammers are manufactured sub-assemblies and the dollar signs are purchased items. So we would be interested in uh, building a request for quotation for a variety of vendors. So in order to do so, for this estimate we will select our capping machine. Click on your request for quotation and at this point we would like to select either a few purchase parts or uh, all of the parts. In this case, we would use the standard control functions from Windows. So the shift control to select a range of parts or simply hold the control to select individual parts. In this case, we will uh, select these two parts and create a request for quotation. Genius will generate the request for quotation, which we can open directly from this window. At this point, we will add a list of vendors which will be bidding for these two items. We may select from a list of uh, predefined qualified vendors or access the list of all our vendors in the system. So for this example, we will choose the chloride systems vendor and uh, we will select the hard batteries vendor. From here, we can select which vendor will be bidding for which item. If you want to individually select certain vendors for certain parts to be bidding on, simply select each checkbox appropriately. In this case, both vendors will be bidding on both parts. Once we hit save, we will be able to generate Excel file templates that are going to be sent to vendors by email. So once this is done, let's go through the process of what the vendor will be seeing on his end. So in this case, for vendor 1200, which is the Chloride Systems, to our far right, we will see what our part number is and what our part description is, so for the plate and the tubing. The vendor will enter his item code for both items and a unit cost for each. So eight and a lead time associated to the delivery of this item to us. So that will be uh, two days and three days for this part. Once completed, the vendor will resubmit this document to us, which we will then be able to import. So we go back to the request for quotation, we will import the response back to this vendor. We can see that the price has been updated. Once this gets updated, we can hit autocomplete and automatically Genius will select the vendor with the cheapest price or the fastest delivery dates, depending on how your system is configured. From here, what we can do once we hit save, we can uh, convert both of these and the two POs. So we've selected our vendor Chloride Systems for this item, CM-101-1, and we've selected hard batteries for the second item. So from this module right here, we can convert these requests for quotations into POs. Genius will automatically create two POs in a, into our system. We go back to Genius, we refresh our quotation, and we can see that we have one purchase order for chloride systems and the second one for hard batteries for the selected products in RFQ. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and email us to info at geniuscrp.com. Every week we release new videos, so hit that subscribe button. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you in the next walkthrough.